pretty good frost out here today. I'm out here chasing the dog. We got a lot of work to do today. You know he's gonna lay down a minefield. That rabbit's getting some exercise there. Hey baby. What you doing? I think she wants to have some babies. You know they're out here. Just waiting to step in one. We gotta do some serious policing of the yard before we do these leaves. We're also gonna deal with those cages. Oh, stand by. All right, I'm back. We got a pretty, uh, pretty good frost today and yesterday. So we won't be able to do leaves until the sun comes out. But we got a lot to do. My older son is uh, back from Indiana. Had a good trip, safe trip. So today I'm letting them sleep in a little bit. But uh, I'm out here. I'm going to start dealing with those cages over there. Um, I'm going to use old rusty uh, landscape fabric staples. And I'm going to make hooks out of them, and we're going to hang each cage on that fence uh, for winter storage right along the garden there. So that should work out pretty good. Um, also, we're going to take that the landscape fabric that we laid out a little bit to dry, um, and we're going to drag them out onto the driveway. And as soon as they dry, we'll roll them up and get them ready for their winter storage. Um, what else we got? You can see the, the frost melting and dripping off everything. Uh, we're going to get these leaves scooped up today. And I don't know if we're going to have time to do some wood, but, uh, I'll get on that wood as soon as possible. Stay tuned. All right, so don't mind my mess here, but we have a lot of these really rusty stakes and I have some that are like super bent that I'll use too but the a few of these I'll take and I'm gonna do an experiment I'm gonna bend this one up and I'm gonna see if uh, I can use this to hang two cages on the fence well we'll see how it works all right so I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna put like a double double bend in this if I can there we go Oh, did it break? Look at that, it snapped. I might blow that idea. Let me try that. Let me try that with one that, uh, try that with one that uh, is not rusty. Maybe that one was just too rusted. So, just doing it like that. I'll do this one on a little bit of an angle. Angle out. Doesn't have to be perfect. So that's kind of what I'm going for right there. So let's go give it a try. Actually, well, maybe that was better where I had it.
How's that? I think that's going to work just fine. Keep them off the ground. It won't get rusty. Quick deploy for the spring. I like it. I wish I just got on video what my son just said. He likes my idea. Says it's working out good. So I told him, God gives you a mind, use it. I've been wanting to do something like this for years. So we got just about all of them up, about three left. But just to show you how nice this looks. I don't know, we got like 27 of them or something like that. But instead of piling them up or laying them on the ground every year, this is our simple solution. Keep it simple. Didn't cost us anything. We used old staples. And that's a almost a wrap for this part of it. We're going to get some stuff done today. So that's one of the things on a micro farm is storage. You know, trying to be um, compartmental, um, being able to uh, put things away and not be in the way. That's always one of the issues with a small property. That's why I really can't wait until we move, get a bigger property, you know, Bigger sheds, garages, outbuildings, the whole nine yards. I look forward to that. But until then, we got to do what we got to do. All right. So now my son pulled out all, well, not all of them, but most of these. We're getting ready to roll them up. Just going to give them a little bit more time to dry. But he's got six of them all the way down the driveway. Once they dry, we'll start rolling them up. My son talked me into saving these things this year again. I was going to discard them. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this up here. Shake out some of that stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a little duct tape. Cheap. This is not the good homeowner duct tape. This is the cheaper stuff. I like professional homeowner duct tape. But I don't want to waste that on this. So. I'm going to just take this. Overlap it. And all we needed to do is stick for a short time while we get these things started. Actually, I did that a little bit backwards. That's okay. I wasn't thinking there, but that's all right. I'm just gonna fold it onto itself. Not a big deal. So let's put this duct tape somewhere else so I'm just gonna go this way even though it's backwards I'll do it the next one differently it's not that big a deal so now as I pull this up I'll have my son keep keep it straight somehow but we're gonna also look for any staples we missed which will be pretty obvious when I get to this point Most of this is pretty dry. It doesn't take long once it's on the, the driveway. But at the same, as I pull this in, so it doesn't get like cockeyed or crooked, I'm um, kind of working with it to keep it as even as possible. So when I get the heavy debris, sweep it off. I mean, there's no way to get everything off of here. If you want to be that anal, this is probably not the stuff to use. 
all this stuff is organic. Doesn't matter. It'll stay rolled up in here all year. So you unroll it again. Just get the heavy stuff so you don't have any decomposition going on. There's a damp spot where some of this I should I should wait and let it dry a minute because it was not in the sunlight. I think that's what we're gonna do. We'll wait like five minutes. We'll let the rest of this dry. We'll pull these other ones into the sun. So we pulled these other ones into the sunlight, these other ends. Uh, that'll help them dry a little quicker. And we'll get them rolled up. All right, so this should be dry enough now. Jake, which one of them is the driest? This one. Right, line that one up with this, right up the middle. You can hold the end up here for a second. My gloves back on. You're gonna have to pull that end over to the left a little bit towards Grandma's house. All right, so I just attached this one to this one. I'm gonna roll the. I'm gonna try and do like three of these on a spool if I can. They're a little bit awkward, but it's doable. I'm just kind of like steering it. Steering it so it rolls up as straight as possible. And again, this is four or five seasons with this stuff. And it's still, if you look at it closely, it's still in uh, pretty good shape. It'll, we'll definitely get another season out of it. So I'm actually kind of glad I didn't throw it away now that I'm getting a closer look at it. I was gonna just replace it with new stuff this year. This is working out perfect. I'm gonna do one more. Um, just go that way a little bit.
you'll notice that as I pull this in, um, I'm knocking most of the leaves off. I'm not knocking everything off. Uh, I just, it's just not a big deal. But uh, what's going on here is beneath here is getting scraped on this dog kennel. And all the, a lot of the dirt that's adhered or stuck to this soft side is getting scraped off as I pull this, you can see. And then it's just falling to the ground. So this, on this roll here, we got five of these strips on here. The other ones have four. So we're able to fit them all on this one. It's a little bit bigger than the others, but all we're doing is we're storing it, storing them on a shelf on the back patio here, like we did last season, no big deal. But just to show you, I get the first one started with a little duct tape on the PVC pipe. And then what we just learned today is that it's just easier to um, kind of just overlap them on each other and just continue to roll them up. Now I used to get in the habit of duct taping each roll and then writing on there what I used it for, what I planted it for, but I already, I kind of have them memorized. Once we uh, unroll them, I pretty much know which one goes where. So, it's good stuff. But this is the part of uh, homesteading that a lot of people don't want to don't want to do um, it takes a lot of work um, but I'd much rather do this at the beginning and the end of the season than have to go out and weed every day or every other day uh, in the heat of July and August um, we, we shortened up that time substantially by using this landscape fabric This one's a little fat. Are we started? Yeah, one roll too many, but we're gonna make it work. Ready? All right. Put a little girth into it. All right, that'll work. We make it fit. So anyway, we gotta clean up our mess, but that's all of our landscape fabric right there. We just uh, did some leaves and we just threw some on the garlic bed. So that's all we need to do right now. That'll sit like that till next season. And we just scooped up that heavy batch of leaves. Uh, we're not going crazy today. We just want to get the heavy stuff and we'll come back another day 
when the rest of the leaves fall down. That was the rest of today's pile.